Hey guys, my name is Bradley. Welcome to my channel, Portly Gentleman. On my channel, I do lots of uh, brew tools videos, to be honest. Everything brewery related for the most part. Today, I am going to show you guys how to not buy a $100 power supply for your Cannular Pro or a $75 power supply for the Cannular Manual, or I believe this will also work with the Maltzilla. So if that seems like a good idea to you, stick around, I'll show you the power supply and I'll show you how to wire it up. All right, so here's what you need to power up your Cannular, Cannular Pro, or even Maltzilla. This is an AC to DC power supply. Um, it works in both 110 and 220 volts. It is a 20 amp power supply, which should be plenty. You have a couple options for, you know, uh, powering the, the cord. This is the uh, Anderson socket. I've only been able to find these at More Beer. I looked on Amazon for one this size. Um, pretty hard to find this guy. It's only two bucks at More Beer. I would say just buy it. Uh, in this one, you would just uh, clamp onto these clippies and crimp on uh, whatever cord you're going to use. There's also an option with they sell a cord that's already halfway made. This is if you wanted to use something like a, a cordless drill battery, if you had one that was strong enough. But uh, I'm going to opt right now just to cut these ends off and wire it up that way because I don't have a long enough extension cord. I think the best way would be to buy like a 10 foot cord, use the plug, cut off the other end. Uh, obviously you wouldn't use the ground wire for the, the cannula itself, but you could just leave it there cut off. It's not going to hurt anything. So first thing to do, unbox the power supply. That's this guy here. You see it's got a line, neutral, and ground, and then the, the DC voltage, uh, positive or minus. It has an adjustment if you want to move the voltage up or down. I'm not going to opt for that. It's also got a, uh, a little breaker switch here if you want to go to 110 or 220 voltage. Since I'm in the US, I'm going to do 110. So the first thing is to wire up the power cord for just for today. I got this from an old power strip. I just unscrewed it and took the cord out. It'll work for what we need to do today. So you notice I have the wire stripped. I just used my stripper. Um, not too long, not too short. You know, this, this is electrical wires here, so you want to be somewhat careful with them, obviously. You'll take and uh, loosen this guy. Loosen a couple of these lugs up. Then we'll go white. Black. wire on there. Those lugs tighten down. We'll go for the ground wire here. This is slightly more difficult uh, considering I have a camera and tripod in front of me. If this stuff isn't here guys, this is really uh, really basic and simple. Grounds on there good enough. Next up we go to our wire I got for more, but this guy's like 11 bucks. It gets the job done. I took off the uh, alligator clips and now we just have red and black. Super simple here. So you'll plug red for positive. black for negative put the cover on and you're ready to go test this guy out. It's that simple. Um, 
It has some provisions on the back where you could mount it. I'm going to put some standoffs on it and mount it underneath my cannula, but that's very much up to you. Also provisions on the sides. All right, guys, so here we're at the side of the cannula pro. Wired this guy up or hooked it up. A little status light, let you know it's on. And let's plug it in the back and you just turn it on. That's a can that's empty and dented, so it was especially noisy, but it's that simple to power this thing up. All right, everyone, so I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll have links in the description to the power supply, as well as the couple things you need to get from your supplier, more beer or what have you, um, as well as an optional cord. I really think the easiest way would be just to buy 10 foot extension cord and just cut that up as needed for wiring. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. It was, it was so much work, I have to drink uh, Kolsch's in tiny little glasses. Man, this is, I'm off subject here, boys, but the Kolsch glass really makes the beer, but they're just tiny. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I need uh, like a magazine of these just to thirsty. So anyhow, super easy. It'll definitely get the job done. Working on the, uh, the cannular semi-automatic right now. Having to do some adjustment up here in the top. Wait for my full review and kind of my thoughts. I actually had the cannula manual, manual but I never did a video because uh, just, just, just well, we'll talk about it when we, we talk about this guy. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember, home brewing is good, and I'll see you real soon.